Welcome to Flavor Square, Chef Joe. I'm George behind the camera. And uh, yeah, I should have seen George dancing a few minutes ago. That was pretty funny. He was doing the MC Hammer. And what was the other one? That you almost broke your leg there? The, Anyways. the scissor? Uh -huh. Whatever. Tonight we're making stuffed peppers, Flavor Square style. Something easy, good, delicious. And extremely good. expensive. Very expensive. It's actually the most expensive dish we have ever done on Flavor Square. No, I think it's one of the most expensive dishes yeah, in the world. It's really, it, it went pricey, you know, but I don't know what was going on. At Anyways. the end, we're going to explain to you, uh, we're going to show you how to make it, but in the end, we're going to tell you what, some of these ingredients might look regular, but one of them is a surprise ingredient that's extremely expensive and hard to come by. Very expensive. What's up, Shane? How are you? I'm looking at the screen today, so I'll be asked, you know, if anybody has uh, any questions or whatever. So we're going to start real quick. I'm going to keep it on the 30 minutes. For the stuffed peppers today, the first thing we have to do is a cheese sauce. But before we get into that, what I'm using today is shredded beef. You guys can use chicken, shredded beef, shrimp, whatever type of protein that you guys want to use, you guys can use it's that. It's a beef, yes. What was that? It's a type of beef that we're using. But the type of use, beef that we're using. You can, you, you can, we're, not, we're gonna tell them at the end. Okay, we'll is, tell right? them at the so, end, fine. But I don't wanna tell yeah, them because I don't use, want people to get mad at me. You can use any type of protein that you want. You can do it without protein. You can do it with just straight cheese or yeah, you more can. veggies, but. Yes. So for the recipe, you will need beef, whatever protein like you want. Like I said, you will need one onion, one red onion, small dice, and saute it, sweat it out. This is basically it, it's been sitting for 30 minutes, so I use butter, you know me and butter. So I use butter to sweat it, so that's why it's sitting, um, sitting like that. You will need cheese. The amount of cheese I'm using over here is about, uh, it's exactly a cup of uh, mozzarella cheese. And for the bechamel, cheesy be bechamel, we're gonna use butter, which is one tablespoon of butter. Half a, excuse me, one tablespoon butter, equal parts on the butter and the flour. Remember that, equal parts. You need one cup of cream, and let's get started. I got, since you stuff peppers, you will need peppers. And what I did, I cut it, not on the top, like people usually do, I cut it that way. You know, he was resting, you know, so that's that. Anyways, let's get going, George, I'm gonna start with. You made I'll, little veggie coffins. What was that? Veggie coffins. Yes. So I'm, we're going to start with the uh, roux. We're going to make a roux for the bechamel. We'll go from there. Oh, one more thing. You will need rice. So I do have some rice over here that I cooked earlier. It's brown rice. So for the brown rice, when you guys cook it, make sure it's fully cooked. And that's where the garlic, the four garlic cloves that I did as well. I didn't show you this one. The garlic is going there and the onions is going there as well with the rice and you guys mix it. So I'm gonna heat up my pan and I'm gonna add the butter. Let me grab a spoonie. So butter is going there. And you can see right away it's already cooking. Flour. So he's making a roux. I'm making a roux. And I'm gonna cook this real quick. Try to keep it without giving any color to it, any brown color, you don't wanna do that. Cause then, you know, you might, you don't wanna go brown, you might burn it. So, just go fast. For that amount, you don't need to cook it for three minutes, no. It'll be something quick. So you cook that. Josh, if you can zoom in so I can see better, a little closer. You want to make sure you fully cook the flour. You don't want the flour taste in, uh, in your sauce. That's, to me, that's disgusting. You don't want to do that. For the amount of uh, sauce, for the amount of butter and flour that I have over here, you don't need to cook it for that long. It's not a big amount. Okay, I'm gonna add my cream. And before I keep whisking, pinch of salt like George's, uh, George's pinch of salt. You can back out, George, if you want. Pinch of salt. I'm afraid to miss anything. You're afraid what? To miss anything. Now that cream is special as well, right? 
Yes. Okay, so that's a special cream. That's a special cream. We call we like to call it mountain cream. So I don't know how many of you know um, mountain oysters? Crack some fresh Same pepper. S say that again, George. No, keep going. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, no. Crack some pepper in there. So what was uh, with the mountain, George? I said much like mountain oysters. Same process. Okay. <laughs> You're not a redneck. You're not a redneck. You don't understand no. these things, bro. <laughs> okay. Anyways, you see that? It's already getting heavy. You don't want to go full heavy on it, okay? You don't want to let it get that thick. George's favorite word. So... Look at the consistency. Let me grab a spoon real quick. So how can I tell something it. became heavy? This is, you see that? That's what you want, okay? Go ahead, George. So you want it in a semi-thick state? Yes, sir. Semi-thick state. There you go. That's what I'm looking for. Let me lower the heat. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add the mozzarella cheese. Yes. You guys see me do this maybe two times already or three on another video. There's multiple uses for this, for this sauce in particular. Look at that, that's what you want. You want that. Do that again, do that again. Do that again, money shot. Money shot. See that? Make sure you whisk it in, make sure you get all the cheese there all melted. When everything is melted, you stop, okay? At least a time, por favor. Oh, you can see. Okay, no biggie. Whatever. And right, if nobody knows, Look at that. we actually got a bet going on that he can't Look finish. at that. We cannot finish an episode in 30 minutes. Okay, so, so that's done. This is why he's speed, speeding through everything right now. No, I'm not speeding. He's sweating. It is what it is, he's man. Sweating. Let me wipe you down. Pepper. Now. George, can you show them, please, the pepper? Yes, sir. It's cheesy. So we have the pepper again. Instead of cutting, cutting it on the top, you cut it on the side. So when your pepper's sitting, it'll be something like this. What are you doing? Keep going. The pepper will be sitting like this. <laughs> You're sweating a little bit, Amara. Man. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so the rice, the garlic that I sauteed earlier, okay? Four cloves, four to five, okay? So just add it to that rice that you guys have cooked, okay? And the onion. The onions that I saute, add it to that as well. It looks a little bit cold, yes, because it was sitting, but it's going in there. Yeah, we photoshopped the steam out of the, the camera lens. Yeah? Yeah. It's hot as shit, but you can't see the steam. <laughs> and mix it with the rice, okay? And again, you have to season salt and pepper. As soon as you add those onions, pinch of salt, the way Shane likes it, pepper, crack some fresh pepper in there, and mix it, okay? That's what you're doing. Mix it real good. Okay? So, when you mix that, The first thing you do on the pepper, you add your rice, okay? Make sure you have, make sure you leave space for the Dude, cheese. you're making a vegetarian hot pocket. I love you, man. <laughs> it goes with beef, George, so it's not vegetarian. But we I'm can saying that's our choice. It's we're only choice, yeah. we're all, the only reason why we're adding this beef is because it's so ridiculously expensive. Yes. And we wanted to do something super retarded. Like take one of the most expensive cuts of meat and, and just something. shred it and stuff a I just want with to it. give right away what it is, but uh, no, 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 let's not wait. Yet, let's not wait. yet, not yet. Okay, so you add your rice to the pepper. Once you add the rice, you go with your cheese sauce. Now, when you guys add your cheese sauce to it, look at that, George, man. This, man, that's, that's money. That's money, brother. Look at that. Yeah, we're in the wrong industry for that to be money. Yeah, whatever. That's good. You're right. Let me keep going. You're totally right. Add that cheese sauce inside there. Look at that. See, that it's okay if you guys make a mess. Don't be afraid to make a mess like me. Shane, okay? it's actually spam. 
How did you get that on your face, bro? What? <laughs> so, <laughs> when you guys add your cheese to the pepper... What? I'm just kidding. Make what? sure that you move it around so all the cheese go... So the cheese go everywhere. Oh, let, let, let me give it to George so George can show you. Here, go ahead, George. Now nah, I might eat it. All right. <laughs> Let me not give it to George because he's going to eat it, seriously. Okay, so you have to let it sit. After you let it sit for two to three <laughs> minutes, that cheese is going to get cold. You're making a cheese candle. <laughs> we're missing the... How you say mecha in English? In English? The little... The string. We're missing the string to turn it on. Mm. We're, making, we're making a candle, George. Jeez. Yeah, right here. Anyway, right oh, there. okay, yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, it's, it's right there. All right, so the cheese is there. Once your cheese is there. <laughs> Dude, bees, yeah, the yeah. Beans. We said we're going to do something retarded. You don't use all of it. Just put like <laughs> a drop of it. No. <sighs> this, if you guys, you know what? If you guys think what type of beef this is, go ahead and type. Yeah, we'll take some guesses. We'll take, yeah. You guys can even bet on it. So take, take a couple of guesses. At the end of the show, we're going to let you guys know what this is. And the only reason why we're not saying right off the bat what it is, because y'all look at y'all gonna look at us like we're so stupid where everybody would just bounce off this channel. Yep. Okay, so your beef is there, your cheese is there, your just, rice is there. Just the way we initially cooked it to put it in here is retarded. But okay. <laughs> Anyways, your top goes there. Now we're not finished. We're not finished with that. It gets real. It gets better. Now, this is expensive as well. We call this bacon. What type of bacon is you it? You call this bacon? Yes, we call this bacon. You're very special. <laughs> what type of bacon is it? Well, this bacon here is pata negra. It comes from the pork that is uh, I uh, Iberico. Puta negra. Damn. Pata negra. Well, pata negra, put it up. Pata negra is basically <laughs> prosciutto. They call it pata negra, but let me say it the right way it, it comes from the same pork that they make pata negra which is the iberico uh which is real good you guys should try it out anyways and what you do is this now piece of bacon dude you just went through this whole shit on what it's called and you just call it bacon no you must call it puta negra every puta time negra. You touch we it. call it puta negra then okay another <laughs> piece of bacon and what you do is this okay on this one in particular I have to let it sit before I flip it. Okay, I have one done already, as you see over here. And you want to put the top that we cut, you want to put it down. Because this is the, the bottom part. So it's gonna stay down in the pan. Correct. You got that right. Yeah. So you go like that. Okay. Let me grab some more bacon. <coughs> uh, some more puta negra. And you're gonna, you're going, make sure you guys use like four pieces. We should Again. just call the show, we should change the name of the show. It what shouldn't be Flavor Square from now on. From what now on, it should be Two Tards in the Camera. Two Tards in the Camera, maybe. I, oh I like that name. God. I like it. You know what? I like it. But Why then not? I get, but then I get left out of the title of the show. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Let Far me from the you. truth. So when you put it on the top, <laughs> There you go. Oh no! Cover. I'll make sure you wrap the whole pepper. Go ahead, George. No, I'll be the camera in the in the. What's that? That's the oven. Make sure you guys wrap that. Once you wrap it, that's what she said. Once you wrap it, you, think you got three kids. Ain't nobody ever told you that. <laughs> my wife. My wife. Okay, I, well, uh, let me stop right there. Okay, once you wrap it, <laughs> do you? This guy is messed up, man. Okay, once you wrap it, flip it. And this side, when you flip it, you could put it on the sheet pan or the sheet tray, and it goes to the oven for how long, George? It goes to the oven for 40 minutes at 325 minutes? degrees. Oh, okay. okay? Four hundred, uh, 40 minutes. So then I won the bet. There's no way you're going to finish the show in 30 minutes if you got to cook that in 40. But you have to remember that we're in the cooking channel, the cooking network thing, and uh, we do magic. Okay? He said. 
What I have over here now, again, show them a picture of this. Show them a shot of that. Okay, that's okay. what we're doing. That's the way you want to wrap it. Right, Make sure that it's it. fully wrapped. Okay. Fully protected. Fully protected. Okay, and again, you put it on your sheet tray, goes in the oven, 325 degrees for 40 minutes. Okay, make sure you guys, again, 325, 40 minutes on the, uh, in the oven, okay? If you want like super crispy bacon, it has to go for longer. If you want like super crispy bacon. Now, for this dish, I'm using tomato sauce, marinara sauce, okay? That's what I have over here. Where did I put the other spoon? Anyways. So that's what I have over here, marinara sauce. I'm gonna heat it up. Once it's heated up, I'm gonna go and finish this dish. Let me put this right over here. We can bake that. Yo, guys, too bad I cannot eat that. I've today was anyways. I cheated one day, but it was something quick and it wasn't you know that much. Anyways, haven't been eating meats for a long time now. Well, a long time to me is like. What's today? The 13th? 14th? I have no idea. Anyways, uh, the 23 days without eating me. Okay? Okay, so this is hot. Let me get this guy out of here. Once you guys bake that, this is your product. Look at that, George. Wow. Look at that. That's, that's beautiful. That's freaking beautiful. I love that. Look at that, man. It looks, it looks good. I'm sure it tastes good. So that's your finished product. Now, normally I would take my microphone and tap it right on the bacon to show you how crispy no, it is. No. But I destroyed three microphones yes. doing that already, and I'm and down to my last cheap. one. They're not cheap. No, we figured out that they're not cheap at all. They're not cheap at all. So I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to do that. Oh, is that a sword? Yes. Look at that, man. Look what George bought me. Wow. Oh my god. How much was this? It again? Um that was uh, three thousand dollars. One more time. Three thousand dollars. Wow. I was happy as hell when I yeah. saw this. Four hundred dollar knife. <coughs> three thousand dollars. Okay. Fine. Come on, what the wind? Okay, so this is hot. And I have my plates over here. The reason why we have tomato sauce is that You're going to use it for your peppers. I'm gonna add a little bit of that marinara. You're gonna make a tomato marinara jacuzzi for your yes. peppers. For for your puta negra wrapped peppers. So you have marinara, okay? Now, more cheese. You can add it on the side, wherever you guys want to put it. Okay, make sure it, the sauce is hot so the cheese is gonna melt. You don't have to put it in the oven. If you want to give it some color, yes, you can. Why not? Look at that. Put that cheese in there. And bam. Bam. Beautiful. And I'm using this guy here. You guys know what this is. Let me it's see if flamey. I remember how to use this. Flamey? Flamey. And I'm basically going to give some color to this cheese over here. Get it on Amazon. Anyways. You can do the soft flame too, right? The what? Soft flame. On the top, the top blue button. Push it forward. Oh. Okay, so that's that. And what you do now, look at that. You grab that, you grab that guy, put it right on top. And you set it on that. You set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. And again, it goes here. Ooh. Yes, sir. We're eating good today. Well, you guys eating good. What the heck? And, um, what I like to do, and I use all the cheese, I forgot, I, I, I had to use my cheese. I usually put it on the top. Okay, I totally forgot you about it. Put a sprig of cheese on the top. You put some cheese in there with a little bit of some sauce. More cheese, man. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. So, what I like to do is put a little bit of 
Dutch sauce on top. Just a bit, not much. Just a little bit. Nothing crazy. You know, this type of dish is for when your man gets home or your woman gets home and they're like, you know, let's do something fast and easy with that rice that we have left over from, from yesterday. Just add some chicken and cheese. You know, you can make the, the sauce or whatever. And again, just a little, bit, a little bit of cheese on top. I messed up and I used all the cheese. You see, that's the thing about Flavor Square. When stuff happens, it happens. And you melt it. Wait, 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 wait. I just bought you a $4,000 knife. And instead of chopping the cheese up to show them how sharp that knife is, yeah. you broke it with your hand? Yes, sir. Okay. Give it some color. Melt that mozzarella. Just melt it. You've you been watching it? Dukes of Hazard, haven't you? I'm having fun with the torch today, okay? I'm having fun. Be because instead of you getting shredded cheese, you went and you got sliced cheese. I know, and all you gotta do is chop it up. Yeah, but, you know, I didn't think of it. Um, is Damon online tonight? Huh? Any questions from there? Wolfgang Puck is watching our show? Wow! Wolfgang Puck? V Wolfgang Puck. And now, when you oh, guys sorry. do this, you guys can do this in the oven if you want. You can put it in the oven and melt it. But I just wanted to mess up, you know, a few things tonight. I felt like messing up some stuff tonight and doing that. That's what I felt like doing tonight. So. What happened? So what do you say? Shane, get him, Shane. Read? Nah, I really can't. It's like tiny on that screen. Yeah, it is. <laughs> you can't see it. It's right next to the screen. It is. It is. I tiny. cannot read it. So, I bet you we we beat the time today. So this is your dish. Something easy and um, delicious. Now, now of course, instead of doing all this, I don't want to use my knife and, and uh, the four thousand dollar knife to cut this open, George. So why not? I mean, the, the beef that we put in there, I think it deserves to get Five. cut by it. a four thousand dollar knife. Let's do it. Let's now, do it. How many Japanese people died in order to make that knife? Uh, you that's tell me. I'm not how sure. How many? That's 120 layers of Damascus. 120 layers. Wow. Of Damascus. That's a lot of steel there. All right. So let's go in there and cut this bad boy. Don't worry. I have enough for the picture. So don't tell me about the picture. Okay? Yo. All right. Not. Not. Not for nothing. That thing just sliced right through it. Yo, like it, it did. Butter. <laughs> it did like butter. <laughs> Wow. It did. It went through like butter. So, George, get a close-up, please. Wow. Look at that. That's your Damn, stuffed that's, pepper. That does smell amazing. And it smells good. That's your stuffed pepper. So, again, that's an easy dish for you guys to do at home with leftovers. You know, I mean, we don't have left leftovers. We're using a... Can I tell them what it is now, George? Or you uh, want to yeah. tell them? We're going to tell them. We're going to let them know. Let them guess. Um, Shane was pretty close. I think the last time I checked, he said it was a bald eagle. Bald eagle? Uh -huh. George, can you zoom in? Because can you zoom in to... Okay, this way. So they can see exactly. Look at the bacon. First off, you have... The first thing you have to notice is that the pepper is fully cooked. Okay, that's very important when you do stuffed pepper. Sometimes the pepper is not completely cooked, and when you try to eat it, it's like halfway. I think halfway. you should just take a spoon or a fork and put it in so they can see the cheese sauce in action. Uh, let's see. Hold on a second. Unless Why is it saying one. that I'm flavor squared? I'm signed on to my account. <laughs> it's both okay, two let's, cards and a camera. Let's do that. You know? Yeah, it's in there. I see it. It's in there. Somewhere. Yeah, it's in there. Might it's be on the other but, side. But oh, it leaked out. Yeah, it leaked out. <laughs> yeah, but no, no big deal. I mean, you guys get the point of what you guys are trying to do. So that's your stuffed pepper. Again, remember, you guys can use uh, all the protein is fish if you want to use fish. Eagle, like um, Shane said. Eagle? I don't yes. know about eagle. I don't know about that. I don't know, but I, I saw a movie once, and if they ate the eagle egg, they got all the powers. Again. Easy dish, delicious, 
and it will take a few minutes to make that at home so if you guys but the good thing is like it. when you see that just presentation wise it looks like something that has been cooking for hours yes it takes you 40 minutes to bake it make sure, you know 40 minutes to get your bacon crispy you i hope i hope you can hear that the bacon is crispy so you have crispy bacon fully cooked fully cooked pepper your stuffing with the cheese and marinara sauce everything goes well together okay um, if you guys have any questions regarding the recipe or whatever you guys are welcome to hit me up